This question or comment comes from my old buddy, Al Vermeil. Al has been a great friend of mine for years. This guy's icon in the fitness industry, and he's a golf nut. And Al, it's great to have you on the site, and I love your questions and even your comments. And he made a comment. He sent me a video, and he says, God, I keep hitting behind everything. He says, why am I hitting behind it? Well, again, your, your golf swing is a circle, all right? And so what we did with Al is he was set up to the ball, and he'd make his back swing, and he'd kind of go back to his right side. His whole upper body would shift, and he'd get way back here, and everything was stop, st stopped here. Then he'd try to move up to his left side as he was coming down. But see, he didn't get to his left side soon enough, so what would happen is the club got here, and now he'd start to go, well, boom, now you hit behind it. So we did the left, right, left, where you go left, right, left, and swing. This is a really important drill because this is the sequence of a golf swing. So you basically go, you put weight in your left foot or force, right foot, left foot, and swing. So what I'm doing here is I go left, right, left. So the club is going back and I go left. So when the club gets to the transition point, which is right there, I'm already up to my left side. So now my swing circle moves forward so I catch the ball then the ground. The big problem in this game for all of us, including me, was when they told us swing up to the top, stand on this foot and stay there, and then once you get there and you're stable, now go ahead and swing. You're so out of sequence when you do that. Very few people were able to swing up to the top, stop, and then transition correctly. What would happen is we would all swing here and stop and the first move we would make down is we'd start down with our shoulders. So all of a sudden your shoulders and your arms get clear down to here and you haven't even come close to getting to your left side. So now all of a sudden you panic and you, you're this way, you hit behind it. Or we would lean forward on it to try to hit it. So when you're practicing this whole, if you watch what I'm doing here, if you just take a club and you swing it out in front of you and you let your body turn a little and you go left, right, left, swing. Left, right, left, swing. See, so my arms aren't doing anything. So I go left, right, left, and as I keep going, what do my arms do? They just swing and accelerate. Because my body's going left, right, left, swing. So when you see somebody, when you see the top of their swing, that's the transition point of the club. That's not the transition point of their bodies. See, all these guys get to their right side really early, and they get to their left sides really early as they swing down. If you do that, you're not going to hit behind it, as Al found out.